Sometimes, when the conditions are so dirty, you best let some other dumb cunt do it. I'm so defeated. It's impossible. It's possible. You've just got to want it. You've got to need it. You've got to feel like you want it and I need it. I don't want it. I want it there. You've got to want it. Every now and then I get a real cool job and I get to rip out something old and see how the blokes did it back in the day. And today was no exception. I reckon this is around the Euro that the, the solo men were kicking around, you know? This DB and all its components are just out in the open. There's live buzz bar everywhere and stuff and it's just caged off to hopefully keep rodents out. But dust and all that is stuffed. Keeping safe to be a solo man you got a thirst for it You've got to crack a solo My favourite part about the whole thing is how neat this handwriting is that they've painted on Someone sat there and done his neatest job he could He took real pride in it You don't really get that these days I was slapping a sticker or it's done Here's the live bus bar and stuff how it was behind the cage Obviously I filmed this after we turned it off but Yeah, just run everywhere No protection no nothing, just out in the wild. Bit of a cage to keep the humans out, but that's about it. When you look at it, it is pretty amazing, the amount of dust and crud and stuff that's built up on over time. And to my knowledge, this one hasn't blown up, so it's just pure luck. You can see why we don't do it this way anymore. But it's just amazing, just cable after cable out in the open, all the joins, all the everything. Look at this. This has got to be the best conduit support system I've ever seen. They've literally just hung chain to hold up old broken bits of conduit to get the cable where it's going. Just hanging from the roof. Absolutely no support whatsoever. It's, it's fucking unreal. It really is. But it's getting the job done so no one cares. Look at it. Qu quantity's what you count. Quality's what you count on or something like that, I guess about a blast from the past I've never seen one of these joints live out there in the wild I've only we learned how to do them but I've never actually done one we've just had connectors terminals rah, rah, whatever you need but they're quite impressive to see the time just the time not worth it I love how much this gold girl ran back in the day you can just tell by the kilowatt hours how many uh, amp hour batteries it would take to run your Makita off the old spring laid contactors in these switches still work really well this one just click straight in like a flash in and out works really well over here not so good you can actually see on the window there the smolten magma the smegma of molten copper as every time it's been tripped it's actually sort of like a shitty spot welder just blasts onto the screen i think that's pretty cool even if you don't notice the molten smegma on the window screen you can tell by the limpness of the the handle that it didn't have much longer before it either just welded shut completely forever or just stop closing some sort of switch malfunction it, it didn't have long left in it you know they nothing left to do it but to get to it so we uh slinged up the the new board and we lowered it down on all went pretty smoothly pretty good job really did it all on sunday morning smashed it right out but you can see the difference in quality this is all enclosed no dust no nothing's going to get in there this will last them a long time even if they are only going to keep it for a few years well there you have it just a quick short one a lot of people like to see the older stuff, not many people get to come across it, so just a quick one, give you a little quick little look and uh, hope you liked it, no worries. Catch you later.